Will Jeremy Corbyn be able to reunite the Labour Party if he's re-elected leader next Saturday? Is Theresa May facing a backbench rebellion over her Brexit strategy? And does Tim Farron have any chance of staging a Lib Dem comeback at his party's autumn conference now underway in Brighton? All questions for the week ahead. Back with me, the panel, Helen Lewis, uh, Isabel Oakeshott, Tim Shipman. Also following on from our interview with Labour MP Peter Kyle, who's complained that some Corbyn supporters are trying to deselect him, uh, we can speak now to the national organiser for Momentum, James Schneider, who joins us from our Westminster studio. James Schneider, th th there's mounting evidence that one of the purposes, one of the purposes of Momentum is to get more Corbyn-friendly Labour MPs elected. Are you still denying that? There is no, not mounting evidence that Momentum is campaigning for deselections. We're not campaigning for deselections. The one person, it, um, the one person who is um, apparently going to appear in, uh, in a documentary tomorrow calling for Peter Kyle to be deselected isn't a member of Momentum. So you would urge all Momentum supporters in Brighton and Hove to back Mr. Kyle, the sitting MP? No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that selections are a matter for local party members and affiliates, and it's their right to decide what well, they'd like to decide. It's not, a, but Momentum is not campaigning to, uh, uh, to uh, reselect any particular MPs. So why was Mr. Sandal uh, addressing a group of uh, Momentum supporters, telling them how to go about deselecting anti-Corbyn Labour MPs? He was invited by one local group. Look, in a, uh, in a, in a big organisation which is very, very active, 150 groups, uh, 18,000 members, tens of thousands of activists, people have democratic debate, people get invited to talks. That's really normal. The, that one meeting does not dictate what national policy is. But are you telling us uh, today that momentum at the local level is not and will not be involved in any efforts to replace sitting MPs. What I'm telling you is that selections are a matter for local Labour Party members and affiliates. It is their right to choose through the mechanisms laid down by the party conference and by the National Executive Committee to, uh, uh, to do that. That's completely normal. What I'm saying is momentum is not campaigning for any deselections. What, even at a local level? Momentum is not campaigning for deselections. Labour Party members, and even at a Labour local Party level, members are you and telling affiliates? me Momentum is not involved in trying to get rid of local MPs at the local level? Andrew, is that what, what you're saying? And, no, Andrew, what I'm telling you is that selections and elections within the Labour mm. Party are the right, the democratic mm. right, for members and affiliates to take part that. in. We are not trying to interfere with that one way or the other. Now, but, now, do, there may be members of Momentum who are members of the Labour Party who take a particular view on their MP. For example, myself. I'm a member of Momentum. I'm a member of the Labour Party. I take a particular view on my MP. I really like my MP. Who is your MP? Keir Starmer. So his position is safe from Momentum? All MPs' positions are safe from as I As I keep on saying... Well, except that we've, as just, I keep we've got... On, Andrew, hold as I keep on, on, Mr. Saying, Schneider. We've got Len McCluskey of Unite saying it is time to get rid of MPs who have been overcritical of Mr. Corbyn. We've had Mark Sandal lecturing Momentum on how to unseat sitting MPs. And we've had Clive Lewis describing uh, a deselection as simply democratic selection. Have you not had the memo yet? Andrew, selections, as I keep on saying, are the democratic right of local well, party members... Uh, local Yes, of local party members and affiliates. I'm not trying to stop anybody having those rights. Those rights are extremely important in a democratic party. But what I'm not going to do is be goaded into saying something which I don't think, which is that momentum should be organising right. well, for deselections, because that's not what we're doing. You're, you're not being goaded. You're simply being questioned. And let me finish with one final question. Is it correct that momentum would like to have or plans to have what it's calling an engagement officer in every constituency Labour Party just to keep an eye on what's going on? Is that, can you tell us 
what this engagement officer would do? That's half true. Um, uh, if you look at the guidelines on Momentum's website, we say that uh, <clears throat> to be a verified local group in Momentum, you need to have positive engagement with uh, your local Labour Party, local trade union branches, local community groups and activist groups. And so we have uh, la each group has Labour Party engagement officers so that people are making sure they're taking part in, in the party. We want people to be as involved in the Labour Party as they can be, to be campaigning, right. and to be a real part of a democratic party. James Schneider, thanks, because I know right. it was at short notice. Thanks for joining us uh, this morning.